Hi, it's Sally Hislop here from Dawn Catching at Rivers Trust and today we're going to be learning how to do a herbarium at home. So starting your own herbarium is a great way to keep a record of the plants you've encountered and identified. They make great reference collections, allowing you to take notes of ID features and reference back to your finds in the future. I'm going to press this lovely specimen of Herb Robert, which is in the geranium family. The most recognisable character of this family are the solitary flowers with five pink or purplish petals. It's got a really distinct smell and leaves. I found this plant just on the wayside and I know it's a very common plant to most considered a weed, so it's fine to pick. But if you're on a site protected for nature or a botanical garden, you'll need to think about getting landowner permission and never ever take rare plants like orchids. If you're unsure of the species, remember the rule is to take the book to the plant so you don't accidentally pick anything rare or protected. Take what you need for your specimen sheet, but make sure to leave some for nature. And make sure to take a section that includes the flower, leaves and stem, as most identification will rely on characters from these different parts of the plant. When you get back home, you can start to press your flower. Cut it to fit the size of paper you'll be using for the specimen sheet. And position it so that you can see the ID features. Press it between thin paper or newspaper that will act to soak up the moisture and two heavy books. Leave it for at least two weeks, but remember that larger specimens will need much longer to dry out, up to a month. When your plant is dried out and pressed, you can start your specimen sheet. In a museum, you would use archival paper that is acid free and would protect the specimen for hundreds of years. But at home, I'd suggest just using good quality drawing paper or card as a substitute. Using a delicate paintbrush or a fine tool, like a metal nail file, apply small amounts of PVA glue to the stem, leaves and flower of your plant. You can then position it onto your paper in an attractive way. Place a layer of greaseproof paper over the specimen and press it again between two heavy books. Once your sheet is dry, you can peel off the greaseproof paper and have a little look. Your specimen is nearly complete, but don't forget to add a label. Record your name, the date you found the plant, where you found it, including a six-figure grip reference if you know it, and of course your identification. You can then store your plants flat somewhere safe like in a big Tupperware box. Who knows, maybe your herbarium will end up in a museum collection one day.